and he said we should rejoice and be glad in it. Today's open heaven is titled The Contagious Blessing. The Contagious Blessing. And today being Wednesday, December 14, I trust God to bless you and that you will receive a contagious blessing today in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, as we go into your word, release your blessing upon us and let it be a contagious blessing. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The contagious blessing. The Bible reading shall be found in Genesis 39, 1 to 5. Genesis 39, 1 to 5. I read, And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guards, or an Egyptian, bought him from bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down Tita. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptians. And it was and his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had, he put into his hand. Five, the last verse. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer of his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptians' house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in his house and in the field. That was contagious. That was contagious. Let's look at the memory verse. And it came to pass from the, the time that he had made him overseer of his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptians' house for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Genesis 39, 5. That is contagious because of Joseph. Potiphar, his household, was blessed. Let's look at the Open Heaven Review. When God really blesses a man, people around him will also feel the impact of that blessing. In Luke 5, 4 to 7, when Peter had a net breaking, break, breaking catch, he needed his colleague to help him carry the fish out of the water into the boat because is because is he alone could not contain the hall. God can prosper your entire family just because of you. The government can establish some policies that will favor your entire neighborhood just because of you. That is what I call a contagious blessing. A contagious blessing is a blessing that comes upon a man's life. And the influence of that blessing comes upon the family, the community, or even the nation of the carrier of the blessing. That is a contagious. May God bless you in a way that the blessing will make the blessing will in turn make you a blessing to others. The blessing will be contagious. You know, when we talk about contagious blessing, let's bring our mind to COVID. When COVID was around, people who carry COVID, spread the COVID. It was contagious. Easily, anyone that carries COVID can transmit or transfer it to other people contagious blessing when they come upon a man it rubs on other people 
in Acts 27, 22 to 44. Apostle Paul happened to be lost at sea in a ship with 276 men. The men panicked because there seems to be no hope of survival. But because Paul was in that ship, none of them died. In fact, the Bible says that God gave all the people in the ship to Paul. He was in charge of them all, including the captor. Act 27, 14. Furthermore, the centurion stopped the soldiers from killing all the prisoners in the ship because he wanted to save Paul's life. Talking about a contagiously blessed man. Because of one man, 276 people were spared. Because Paul was in the boat, and I, I could recollect that scripture, the angel of God came in and ministered to Paul that they will all be saved. It's only their goods that will go with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the storm. And that came to pass. The cause of Paul, the old people in the ship were spared. That is a blessing. Do you know that because of you, your community can be spared? Do you know because of you, your family, your community, your state, your nation can be spared from doom, from calamity, if you can remain upright and prayerful. Because of you, they can be spared. I know we usually pray at the end of the day's discussion, but you should take a minute now and pray, saying, Father, please let me associate with people whose blessing will rub off on me in Jesus' name. There's a prayer point here that you must, God to help you to associate with contagious, blessed people. Contagious, blessed people. That they should be your friends. That's your prayer. Quickly pray that prayer. Say, Father, please, let me associate with people whose blessing will rub off on me in Jesus' name. Father, please help me to associate with people whose blessing will rub off on me in the name of Jesus. As we go into the end of the year, my association, bring me in contact with people whose blessing will rub off on me. Bring me in contact with men, with women, with people. With people you have appointed to rob their blessing on me and so that I too can be a blessing to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to meet men and women of renown of contagious blessing, men with contagious opportunities in life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have answered in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible reading for today tells the story of Joseph as a slave in Potiphar's house. The Bible says that though he was a slave, Potiphar prospered because Joseph worked in his house. Your company will prosper because of you in Jesus' name. That's great. As a child of God, you are working in an establishment in an organization, in a company. That company must prosper because of you. It must prosper because of you. If you are truly a child of God, the grace of God upon you must rub upon the company. In fact, it is so much rub that if you decide to leave, they will not want you to leave. I've had such experience. Before I started my practice, I've had it. Your, the grace of God, the blessing of God upon you can rub off on your establishment. And I pray it shall be so as our Father in the Lord has prayed in Jesus' name. Finally, it is easy to recognize a contagiously blessed fellow in any organization because the moment the person starts to work there, 
profit will increase. Somehow, sales will improve and money will overflow. If the blessed one is a business person, everyone will want to partner with him or her because they know that doing so would result in great success. I pray that you, I pray for you again from the depth of my heart, you will be contagiously blessed. Amen. I will be contagiously blessed in the name of Jesus. Your nation will become the largest exporter of whatever you sell because of you in Jesus' name. Your entire family and lineage will never know poverty again because of you in the name of Jesus. It is good to be contagiously blessed. You will save a generation. You know, Joseph that we read did not only bless Potiphar's house, but the whole Egypt was blessed because of Joseph. The entire family of Israel became blessed because of Joseph. So when you are contagiously blessed, it will affect your family. It will affect people around you. It will affect your neighborhood, your community, your business, your company, everything. And that is what you should covet as the year goes to an end. And we are moving into 2023, that you will be a contagiously blessed man. I pray for you as our Father and the Lord has prayed. You will be a contagiously blessed man and a contagiously blessed woman and a contagiously blessed child of God in the name of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Jesus, you cannot be contagiously blessed by God. You need to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You need to repent of your sin that the grace of God and the presence of God can be with you. Mark, if you look at the life of Jesus, mark the word, the Lord was with Joseph. The blesser was with Joseph. That's why it was contagious. He blessed. The Lord was with him everywhere he went. God cannot be with a sinner. Hence, you need to give your life to Jesus. God will help you today. Repent of your sin. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And the grace and the blessing of God will come upon you. For every child of God, may you be contagiously blessed. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for contagious blessing. Father, we ask, release it upon us so that the blessing upon our life will affect our generation, We affect our family, We affect our children, We affect our community, We affect our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have answered in jesus name we have prayed please follow the hymns and pray god will surely visit you with a contagious blessing as the year goes to an end in jesus name peace be unto you amen